I am Danny Gasparini, and welcome to this segment of Penn Voice. I am joined today by Bart Charlo, who is the CEO of Samaritan House. Bart, welcome back. Thank you for having me, Danny. Um, I, I'm always, again, excited to have you on the program because um, of the work that you do at Samaritan Thank House, you. of course. So important. And we're entering the holiday season. We are. And uh, we know that there is a lot of extra programming happening with our um, nonprofit organizations. You have something very special happening for our working poor that we really need to talk about. So tell us about it. We have a lot of something happening yeah. you know, through November and December. Well, we're already on the holidays starting with Thanksgiving. And we do extra food distributions, two of them in November. Um, on alternate Saturdays at Lead Elementary and College Park Elementary. And we will give out a good couple of extra tons of food specifically for the holidays to about 3,000 different households. And then we have Thanksgiving week and oh my, you cannot believe how many meals we'll pump out right. there. So between Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then Thanksgiving day itself, easily another thousand holiday meals will go out as hot meals for the community. Right. The big thing being Thanksgiving Day, um, we always get Jerry Hill to come on in and serve Thanksgiving dinner for the community. Anybody who's lonely, hungry, needs that Thanksgiving meal and a little company, come over to Martin Luther King Center in San Mateo between 12 and 3, and we will feed you and you'll have a great time. Now, let's let's talk about that for a minute. So that's the, that's the giving, and you obviously need to receive greater food donations you have a greater need for volunteers. We do. I mean, how 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 can we help you with that? What what's the shout out to the community um, for food donations and or um, volunteer? Okay. Well, for Thanksgiving especially, you would figure everybody can use turkeys, and believe me, we never have a surplus. But if we ever did, Christmas is coming along right afterwards right. because we do more food programs then. So I really encourage that. But the big fun is. On December 19th, 20th, and 21st, for our clients, people who are registered as clients as, of Samaritan House, we will have our annual toy shop. So we'll take over a pavilion at the event center in San Mateo, and about 4,000 children who are clients of our agency and partner agencies are going to go through, and they're going to get holiday cheer and presents, and they're going to get gifts that they can give their family. So we do have both food and toy drives mm -hmm. going on right now. And folks can access those on our website, okay. www.SamaritanHouseSanMateo, you need all of that. Right. Dot org. And we'll put it up on the screen so Terrific. no one has to even remember it. But <laughs> can you just give us a real quick, um, if we wanted to drop off some food in Turkey and or um, toys for your toy uh -huh. drop, is it your San Mateo location? Yeah, you can do, do so. it at the San Mateo location. There also will be dry barrels at schools and at okay. various other institutions. So we'll just look for barrels that have the Samaritan yes. House um, uh, sort of logo and picture on right. it. And or we can go to your website and look at where we can drop off. Right, or you can do drives from the website. But just come to Samaritan House in San okay. Mateo and we'll take care of it. Well, you bring up a good point. Could a corporation do a toy drive or a food drive on your behalf? And does would someone just call the organization to say... I'd like to do a toy drive and, you know, we're XYZ Corporation. Yeah, that's exactly what they do and many do. It's it's fun to have our corporate partners, but also our schools through our We Care program. And so many people get involved in doing those drives, families, social groups, religious groups. Right. And it's great to see the community come out with that kind of spirit. Right. There's an aspect to this that people don't realize. And Samaritan House operates not just on providing survival needs for people, but what they need to thrive. And for us, dignity is at the root of all of it, right. either helping people maintain their dignity or helping restore it. So for the kids who get holiday presents, for the individual, the senior who comes in for that warm holiday meal and socialization, that's an important part of maintaining their dignity because they're members of our community. Right. And I, you know, I've attended um, a couple of your um, food meal days. And what I like most about it is we're all eating together. Yep. So it's not me behind a table serving, although I did help serve, but it's also, I pick up my own plate and sit down yep. with my own community of friends at the table, and we all just talk about the holiday season or our lives or anything, that, sports even, and whatever is on our minds to sort of talk about and be grateful and thankful for. So I love this idea and your mission of bringing community together to serve one another. 
Well, it's a community that really does it. If you remember that we are almost 4,000 volunteers at this point. Right. It's the community serving the community, helping itself. And that's the beauty of it. Right. It's what makes it so wonderful. So we talked about how we can support the effort, and that is food donations, toy donations, right. volunteering. Of course, if it doesn't work for you to drive a turkey down to the San Mateo office, you can make a donation online. Yes, you and can. you can go and purchase turkeys um, for your turkey dinners and, and for your food, your food um, drives. Um, tell us a little bit more. Let's take a step back now and talk a little bit more in general about Samaritan House outside of the holiday programs. Well, there's a lot going on at Samaritan House, and I think most people don't realize how much service we do I agree. actually throughout San Mateo County. Right. So wherever you are in San Mateo County, even if you don't see an office of ours, right. we are serving. We're doing everything from preventing homelessness to feeding people, services in schools, teaching the kids the lessons of empathy. We've got two health care clinics. They are the free health care clinics that serve this county for people right. who can't get or afford insurance. Mental health all kinds of good services. Right. So there's that much that we do. And the really exciting thing is just a little over a year ago, we opened Samaritan House South to serve the south part of our county, that is Menlo Park in East Palo Alto. And uh, we have offices there in East Palo Alto, and we just offered, opened an outstation in East Menlo Park at the Unita Harris Center. So basically we are now serving more than 50% of the population of the county with those, those direct emergency services. Right. I think it's important to have a physical location when you can, because again, they're expensive. They are. And you rely on the good philanthropy of your individual donors and your community, as well as some of your munici municipalities and county support and some of the county programs. But for the most part, we rely on individuals and companies and foundations to help us do this great work. That partnership is so essential. But having that physical location where people feel it's part of their community and they're not either needing to take a bus or a very long car drive to get to the next part of the county is so very important, I think. So I'm, I really applaud the work in opening these facilities in East Menlo Park. Well, thank you. We know it makes a difference. The people down there are really responding beautifully and we're able to get food down there. They're getting much better care in terms of preventing homelessness. These are the things we are designed to do. Yeah. Danny, so much of our service also is mobile. So we have meals going out throughout the county, hot meals out of our kitchen. I know you know Ruby the chef. Right. And these things are serving thousands and thousands of people. Last year, we served almost 15,000 people directly and many thousands more through the backbone services we do for other agencies. Right. But the fun, the fun for me, was when I realized that we had hit 1,371,000 and change meals in that year alone, and this year will be bigger. Right. And, and I think what's important to also note is the fact that there's so much confidence um, in our community about using your services. I think that today, some of our um, populations that are most vulnerable are afraid to seek services. Uh -huh. If in fact there might be an immigration issue or there might be some kind of violation on their privacy, their health privacy, if it's a mental health issue, will somebody know um, that I am involved in a situation or I might myself need some mental health support. You've got such a confidence with your community about people knowing that you're a trusted and safe partner. Um, I know you've worked years on that. Oh, but we have. <laughs> what are some of the things that you do to continue to build this confidence in communities about using your services? Because you can provide them, but if no one wants to come, um, then, then we've not done our community that service. You know, the service is really done by volunteers and professionals who Keep in mind that we're just dealing with people. We're dealing with right. our neighbors. And so when you deal with us, you deal with a smile. You deal with somebody who cares. And even if you're feeling stressed, we're going to try and help you deal with that situation both short and long term. Right. We do it comprehensively. So people learn to trust us when you know it's not just you know that rental assistance that you need, but you could also get food or we can clothe your children or we can get health care for you they begin to realize just how deeply we care and how right. much we will do. And we are careful about information. Not only is your service with us as confidential as you would like, right. 
but we do not keep any information relative to things that would put you right. in jeopardy. Right. Well, Bart, it's always so important for us to have this discussion about Samaritan House. I hope that everybody this year, this holiday season, will make sure that you're involved, volunteer, donate, um, get involved with Samaritan House. Thanks again, Bart, for joining us. And we'll see you during the holiday season as well as all of you at Samaritan House.